And all I meant to do was explain macroeconomics, explain the two tools in the kit bag of economists who uh, address uh, the financial challenge, the economic challenge in any society. Fiscal policy and monetary policy. That's all I wanted to do. And uh, what I was doing is presenting it as it was, as it continues to be presented in every Echo 102 class across the universe. But I got attacked. I got called every name in the book, constantly questioning my uh, intelligence, my knowledge of economics, and I was wondering, who are these people? So it turned out what they are are called Austrian school folks. The Austrian school of economics, uh, also called supply siders. Uh, okay, now, followers of von Hayek and von Mises and Rothbard, okay. But those folks have all passed away, okay. If we look at the modern incarnation of the Austrian school and who the leaders are today, there are two big names, Ron Paul and Peter Schiff. Now, Ron Paul is a country doctor who has, I don't think he took a single class in economics in his life. Okay, He certainly doesn't have a degree in economics. The same can be said of Peter Schiff. He not only never taught economics, I would bet my bottom dollar that he doesn't even have a degree in economics. He is referred to as a journalist and an investor. I watch him two or three times a week. I'm very familiar with Peter Schiff. He appears on a show called um, CNBC. It's a financial news network, okay? And he's pretty much, la you know, these are traders on the show, okay? active traders who trade millions, uh, if not billions, every day. And uh, to them, he's a joke, Peter Schiff, okay? He's a, an outrageous exaggerator uh, uh, with no economic knowledge. Okay.